Hi there and welcome to the Adventures with Jesus Today podcast. I'm your host Lisa Vandenberg and today we're going to be talking about come expecting God's goodness. There are so many circumstances in our lives where what we see in front of us can look bad. Um, We see somebody's relationship falling apart or maybe one of ours. We see somebody who's sick. We see not enough money at the end of the month to pay the bills. We see somebody who's depressed and can't get out of it. So many circumstances during our lives. And not only those kind of ones, but even just walking past people at the supermarket or speaking to the teacher at school or a colleague at work, we'll see circumstances that seem to have no hope, seem to have very little chance of resolution. You know, we've tried everything we know to try. We've done everything we know to do. And um, so often we can judge whether a situation has had some hope put into it or will be solved by what we see in front of us, whether a person's attitude changes or a mindset changes, a behavior changes, a person's body is physically healed, more money comes into the bank account. Um, But there are beautiful opportunities to always sow seed into the situation in front of us. And so the encouragement that I believe the Lord wants to give us is this encouragement of the power of hope. What can happen when we come expecting the goodness of God in a situation? That's um, the way I define hope is the confident expectation of the goodness of God in the land of the living. And uh, the Bible says that that's what we get to walk in. We get to bring hope to every situation. So a friend of mine is a, a teacher's aide at a school and uh, helps in classes where there are young children that just need special attention. They um, need somebody to be able to focus on them and help them to handle life. And it's absolutely beautiful opportunity. And they had come to me the one day and just said, oh, this, this one child is just, there seems to be no helping. They are intentionally disruptive. They scream when they come into class. They don't want to be here um, my parents don't want me to be here this is all and they're they're full right and uh, it was just tremendously upsetting to my friend and tremendously upsetting to the class to the teachers to the the parents everyone this child was just unhappy the whole day and really causing like not even unhappy causing havoc in the class the entire day and so my friend did the best she could to, you know, help and to sit down and to pay attention and, and all sorts of things. And at the end of the day, I uh, just said to the Lord, Lord, you know, what, what else can I do? And the Lord said, sit, go down to their level so you can look in their eye and tell them how much you love them. Wow. Right? So at the end of a day where the child had been so disruptive, so intentionally, you know, nasty, um, just uncooperative, all sorts of things, the Lord led my friend to sit down in front of this little person and look into their eyes and say, You know what? I love you. I love that you came to this class today. I love that I got to do things with you. I love that. I got to spend time with you. I love you. And nothing changed in front of them. Nothing nothing in the child's behavior changed. Right? But the next day, she said she came into the classroom and this little girl was there and completely, completely peaceful, completely full of joy. So wanted to be in the classroom, came up to her and said, I wanted to be here today because you told me you loved me yesterday. <laughs> And had such a beautiful time with such a transformation in the girl, such a transformation in the classroom, in everything that had gone on around them. It was just, it was the most astounding thing to be able to see what the power of love had done. But if she'd gone on her own feelings from the day before or uh, the little girl's reaction from the day before, she would have said that pouring love into that little girl hadn't worked. But look at what God can do when hope is in a situation. Look at what God can do behind the scenes that we can't even see. So I want to encourage us. The Lord's encouraged me today and I'm passing this on to you. To remember that hope is the confident expectation of the goodness of God in the land of the living. 
David said it in the Psalms. He said, where would I have been if I had not believed the goodness of God in the land of the living? And so in every circumstance that you're put in today, every person that's put in front of you, every place you go, our whole days are ordained by the Lord and he's with us in the whole day. Ask the simple question, Lord, what does the power of hope get to bring into this situation in front of me? How do we get to partner with heaven to bring what you know can be done in this situation to pass? God knows exactly who's ready. When, when we're ready, what we're ready for. what we're, It's just the most beautiful thing. And as we listen to the Holy Spirit and let Him guide us, He'll show us exactly what's pertinent to what's happening in front of us. What the person needs. Do they need a hug? Do they need a word of encouragement? Do they need whatever? Whatever they need, heaven knows. And as we are faithful to sit and listen, the Lord is faithful to let us know what he wants to say and what he knows will bring restoration to the situation so you are a hope carrier you are the one that gets to partner with the holy spirit to bring on earth as it is in heaven to bring hope and love and joy and strength into situations that the lord and you go into today what a beautiful invitation oh so as always jesus is inviting you on an adventure today will you accept please pass on this podcast to friends and colleagues let people come to the ways of wisdom.com and sign up and then we'll send an email out every week with a link to the podcast let's spread some hope and some joy and some love to the people we love and care about bless you bless you bless you and i'll see you next time